What's going on, man? It's your boy Too Much Drama TV. We're back in the building. All right, man. So today I kind of wanted to talk about a couple of things. Now, the Martin Luther King movie came out. Selma. All right, you got Oprah Winfrey in the movie. Uh, it's an incredible, powerful movie. What I've noticed over the past, I want to say, you know, year or so, there's been a lot of things that have been going on, you know, within the African American community, but also within America. Okay, and I'm going to touch on all of them. All right. You know, you got the Ferguson situation. You got Gardner who got choked to death. You got um, the cops that got shot in New York City. All that stuff's going on. And it's all racial, racially charged. And me being a black man, um, I don't think it's hard to be a black man in America. It's the situation that you put yourself in to make it the situation hard. It could be hard, hard for a white guy. It be hard for a fucking, I mean, think about it. Think about a white guy walking in a basketball court. <laughs> $500, baby, and you can pick my teammate. Give him the chump. You mean play basketball? And, he, you know, dude can probably hoop his ass off. But he's going to get racially stereotyped because he's like, oh, he's white. He probably can't, you know, hoop. He can't dunk. He can't shoot. He probably feels bad about himself. Or let's say a, a white guy walks into a bar and he, and he wants to talk to this black chick. But the black chick probably won't give him a time of day probably because he's white. He probably feels bad about himself. Well, let's take a Hispanic guy, for example. Let's take a Hispanic guy that works just as hard as a white guy and as a black guy, but he's making less than the black guy and a white guy because he's quote unquote from Mexico. Let's take the black guy, for example. His name is Jaquan. He's probably smart as fuck, very intelligent, no criminal record, because, but, but his name sounds like he's, you know, he comes from a, a broken home. They're probably not gonna hire him. So you look at that whole situation, man. Everybody has a hard time in America. Everybody has a hard time, all right? And what I've noticed is this whole black supremacy thing is starting to resurface again. And I don't like that. It's what, we make 13% of the population in the United States of America. You got Chicago, you got Philadelphia, you got Baltimore, um, you got, you know, places like Oakland, places like that where it's, you know, pretty much even. There's a lot of black people in, in the communities. No one, I, I don't see anybody marching when it's a black on black crime in Chicago, Illinois. I only see people marching when it's a white cop killing a black cop. Why is that? Can someone answer that? You know, and I hear people say, oh, you know, our black leaders. Why the hell do we need black leaders? Where are the white leaders? I don't see white leaders. I don't see Mexican leaders. People just lead by example. We don't need black leaders, okay? People make up all these fucking excuses, you know, all these racially charged excuses. Oh, well, you know, well, it's because I grew up in the projects the white man put us here. And I can't find a job. Well, goddamn it, if you stop spending all your money on Jordans and, you know, waiting in line three or four hours to buy a pair of shoes. Meanwhile, Michael Jordan is in his mansion, you know, smoking a cigar, probably getting his dick sucked. Who fucking knows? He doesn't care. All right. Black people need to understand this. Michael Jordan does not care about you. He cares about getting paid. All right. Stop blaming everything on the white guys. Stop blaming everything on the cops. People, look, I'm not the biggest fan of cops. All right. There's times where I've been pulled over and I was, you know, oh shit, here we go. But you gotta understand what a cop goes through every day, man. They see some fucked up shit every day. They wake up in the morning, they put their bulletproof vests on, they, 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 they get strapped up because they're going out there to war. You know, I mean, yeah, a lot of cop, cops, they don't do shit all day, but there's a lot of cops that they're in the middle of fire every fucking day, man. They gotta deal with scumbags like you that sell drugs all day, that pollute the streets, that that rob people, that steal from people, that shoot people, that do a whole bunch of dumbass shit, man. Don't pay their parking tickets and stuff like that. Well, I'm, you know, I do that too, but whatever. Cops have to deal with idiots all day. So I can understand if they see a motherfucker with his pants hanging off his ass and he's walking around with a, a box of cigars, no one even pay for those, and he questions them and then something, you know, jumps off. What do you, what do you expect? I can understand a cop why he's, you know, pissed off half of the time. It's a hard job to be a cop. Maybe you should have became a cop or you should have set some goals like, you know what? I want to be a black cop. Stop complaining. My wife told me this. My wife was like, you know what? A lot of black people complain about cops. How come they didn't grow up and say, I want to be a cop? Why? Set a good example. If you don't like our cops, then why don't you become a cop? Or why don't you, if it's too late for you, tell your kids to become a cop. Don't complain about cops until you actually walk in their shoes. Or if you want to become one yourself, make the streets a little safer. But I like cops, you know why? They make the streets safe, man. What I mean by I like cops, I like the fact that we have some sort of justice. Because if there isn't justice, it's gonna be anarchy all over the streets and you don't want that. So, we gotta stop basing everything on race, man. It's getting out of hand. 
Uh, make sure y'all check out the Martin Luther King movie. It's very, very riveting, man. It's a great movie. But um, we need to love each other, you know, as a race, man, because it's all about, you know, just unifying. It's, it's getting ridiculous, man. I, I don't want to. I don't want to end up with a race war because we're outnumbered. Simple as that, man. So use your head, man. Use your fucking head and just just don't use it as a hat rack. All right. It's your boy Too Much Drama TV. Make sure you comment below and uh, holla at your boy, man. Peace.